We hope you enjoyed that wonderful film, Our Christian Heritage. You might want to know a little bit more about how it was made and how it's relevant to the present time. And so I'm delighted to have with us today Michael Clark, who's chairman of Covenant Publishing, the publishers of the film. And Michael, it's just a, a delight to have you here today. Thank you very much, uh, David. It's, uh, it's a real joy as well to, to be with you. Good. So what I'm sure that those who've been watching the film would love to see now, is, uh, or to hear now, is a little bit more about uh, what happened and, and how it went on. So I'd like if we could to cover two items really as we, as we go through this. One is how relevant is our Christian heritage to where we are today in Parliament and, and all those things. But also we'd love to know, because you're a filmmaker, you, you've made this thing and obviously it's, it's taken a long time to do all this research and everything else, so we'd love to know a little bit more about it. So tell us a bit about the making of the film. Well, it was uh, an, an enormous challenge actually, um, because this is a very uh, big story and one that isn't really followed through in terms of the uh, origins. Mm -hmm. um, we're beginning, you see, I mean, with Jerusalem, uh, the, the historic city, and we're linking these islands mm -hmm. uh, with the story. And um, so it's, we're moving uh, from a, 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 what you might say is a fragmented history into one uh, of continuity in history and um, evidences which uh, have perhaps been forgotten in the midst of time and, um, you know, which I've been involved with for, for many years. And so it's almost like a, a fulfillment um, to, to reach this point. And um, it, it's a continuity in history, uh, a truth in history, if you like. How do you see the relevance now with scripture and with the film to the way the world is today in this, in this nation? In many ways, London, which uh, you know is a financial centre of the world, absolutely, um, it has given uh, our common law government to the world, and um, in this sense, we, you know, we have a responsibility to uphold that standard. And of course, it's all um, embraced with our constitution, uh, the Queen in Parliament, under God. That is the that is the concept mm -hmm. of our government. You know, we have church and state together, represent, uh, represented by the Queen, who is uh, Supreme Governor of the Church of England, as well as Head of State. The whole picture of the deliverance of Jerusalem uh, in 1917, and I emphasize deliverance as opposed to conquest, because not a shot was fired as, as came Isn't out that, Wasn't that film. amazing? It was a miracle. But I was amazed that in 1917 they were actually flying aircraft in formation like that. I mean, yes, I mean, it was right at the beginning of the Royal Air Force, which was called the Royal Flying Corps. Mm -hmm. And um, actually I had a conversation with the Imperial War Museum about the film that mm -hmm. we had. And uh, they said, oh, they didn't fly in formation at that time. But you see, I actually met the person, uh, the soldier, who actually took the picture. Oh, uh, and he mm -hmm. actually witnessed it and saw it. You know, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful to think that, you know, I've been involved with the, this thing for an, that number of years. I can remember some of these people that actually were involved in the uh, times of 1917. It's a very, very important uh, thing to remember history. Yes. Um, you know, we Churchill once said, we, you know, uh, we have to look back as well as forward to know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Michael, this is fascinating. So, what brought you to, to make Our Christian Heritage? How did that all come about? Well, that was uh, almost um, you know, set out for us by, by the Lord in, uh, in the way that we had moved up to uh, the northeast of England mm -hmm. and um, came into contact um, uh, with Ed Skeldy, who was working yeah. from, from Newcastle. But when he, he met us and um, uh, we opened up to him on, on what we wanted to do, particularly with the Palestine campaign, Mm -hmm. um, it seemed to generate in him an awareness and filled in almost like a, a black hole of history, which um, you know has enabled him to tackle this with some enthusiasm. You know, the challenge itself um, was to actually um, show a, a film which linked these islands um, with with Palestine uh, because of the history. And um, the fact that, um, you know, these were known islands in ancient times from, for tin and for minerals. So where was the tin mainly, was it Cornwall? Well, it was Cornwall, but I mean, they have found uh, a Bronze Age mine in recent years 
in North Wales, which really? you know is 4,000 years old. Coming to these islands was, was part of a, a trade, and, and, and you know, a lot of Christianity has, has gone on trading routes, and uh, in the past, migrations have gone along trading routes. Of course, the silk, silk route going east, yeah. you see, that sort of thing. How long has it taken to do all the research into this? Well, I mean, it's, it's an accumulation of uh, several decades, in, in my case. Really? But um, then it goes back, uh, you know, uh, a century and more, it's half a cent century and a half, really, in terms of relatively modern history mm -hmm. of, of this research. What has come to light is that the, in 562, that a comet struck Britain. Uh, to the point that it devastated the very powerful Arthurian kingdom at that time, which was Arthur, King Arthur II. And um, uh, the land was no good for seven years. I mean, there are records of this. And it went all the way across the Atlantic and uh, finished in Bolivia. And there's evidence of this, uh, that the comet struck there as well, came right across from Britain. And um, uh, so, you know, the whole kingdom uh, which was a Christian kingdom at that time, um, was devastated. And uh, people moved out into Normandy, and this was, the links with Normandy were established from that time. And it seems to me um, that probably um, at some point um, the Roman mission to, to, to England took place, you know, after, in, in, in that sort of vacuum that, that, right. that had been created. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a very important sort of historical yeah. event in that sense. So, in terms of uh, things that you were able to bring in, into the film, what would you say was the, the thing that you would have, or one of the things that you would have liked to have had in the film that perhaps you weren't able to include? Were there any? Yes, but it's, it's, a very, it's only an introduction, right. basically. So will there be more? Well, there will be more. Um, we're, we're actually working uh, on that now. On another film? On another film. About our heritage? About our heritage. Excellent, Michael. Um, Excellent. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big task. Yeah, sure. Because, um, you know, in history, people have moved. It's not appreciated, really, that um, there was so much travel and movement in the ancient world mm -hmm. by sea, uh, in, to a large extent, whether we think of the Phoenicians and uh, uh, searching for minerals, um, but also because of deportations. Right. and migrations that have gone on. This film, absolutely amazing, uh, really wonderful. For lots of people, I think it'd be a good thing to have in, in your library. It'd be a good thing to share with your friends and other people. So my question to Michael now is, is this available on DVD? Absolutely. Um, we have uh, in a DVD available in both uh, the British Standard mm -hmm. and, also, the yeah. yes, and also the North American. Well, the NTSC. NTSC, yes. And that's readily available. And they can get that, have you got a website? We have got a website, right. um, uk. Uh, you know, we can send this out for um, 12 pounds Right. Um, so it's, uh, it's something which uh, we would like. What about if people are seeing this, I mean, you know, it's going to be shown uh, obviously worldwide, so if people are in far-flung places of the world, are you still happy to send out DVDs to wherever? Absolutely. Great DVD to get, so I highly recommend it to you. And Michael, it's been a real delight to have you with us today. And thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us. Thank you very much for the opportunity, uh, David. Thank Very good indeed. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, David. Thank you.